sun is coming out. Hey guys, I'm lying sideways because um, it's comfy. I am a huge advocate of comfort. Want you to be comfortable. I want to be comfortable too. I really like being comfy. I like wearing comfy clothes. I like wearing stretchy pants. <sighs> I like feeling comfy. And I want to be comfy in my body, you know? That's a big part of what is appealing to me about somatics. It's finding that comfiness in your body. And yeah, I'm not an expert. I'm, I'm a person who feels. A very feeling person and I I mean I guess we all are right we've all got sensory um, nerves and I've recently learned quite a lot about that from reading the melt method by Sue Hitzman, Hertzman. Um, it's awesome she talks about the fascia and how our entire body is covered buddy baby <laughs> is covered in a layer of connective tissue called fascia and in that connective tissue are nerve endings all over our bodies. And those nerve endings are sensory and they feel pain. So they, they, they relate pain back to the brain, a sensation of pain. So if there is like a, a dehydration usually in that fascial tissue, then you'll have a sensory input of pain in that area and a major thing that you can do for that is foam rolling and rehydrating that tissue. That was a little bit of a tangent feeling that really, that roots me back to feeling. It's interesting, right? This connection and feeling between emotion and physical sensation and thoughts and how those three are very interestingly intertwined and they seem to be separate somehow, but they're not. And we can affect each of them with the other. So very often for me, emotion is a physical experience. Like I can feel a knot here or here, or when I'm nervous or um, when I'm angry. Oh God, it's like a fire inside of me. Um, or a volcano. I've had the sensation of like a volcano and then my throat will just lock itself. Um, yeah, and I've been on a journey to release my voice and open my throat. Yeah, the sensations involved that are so, so completely connected to the emotional um, experience and the emotional experience which is also so closely connected to often the thought um and then sometimes it's different it's like there's a thought that happens and then there's like a body response that happens and then um and then the emotion kind of comes through and is like a texture and a tone over all of that um yeah, but that's why I think, um, because I personally experience sensation and feeling so prominently, it is very clearly um, an access point where I can tune into that and I can um, be with it. And when I'm with it, I learn so much about... Um, my thought patterns and experiences that are contributing to my current experience in my body. This is all such a complex but kind of concrete and in that way simple uh, topic, I think, and I, I really love that. Somatics, it intertwines feeling, emotion, sensation, thought, and kind of how all of those come together to feed spirit and your spirit. Trying new positions to get comfortable.
I'm an American living in Leipzig, Germany. This is actually um, a little village outside of Leipzig called Ruta. That's where I'm living. And yeah, this is a 10 minute bike ride from my house here. So I enjoy this. both arms up to the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale again to the sky. Exhale to your heart. Bring both hands to your heart. find different tonal qualities underlying the sensations you feel when you bring your hands to the heart. Find what resonates. Maybe it's just one tone or maybe it's a lot of tones. Maybe it's a melody or not. Just find what resonates when you put your hands there. For me, the sensation is drifting to my left shoulder. So I'm humming into my left shoulder.
reach, reach through your fingertips. And exhale. Down by your side. Inhale. Over your head. Feel that stretch along your right side. Reach through your fingertips as you come back up to center. Reach through to the sky. Extending beyond the tips of your fingers into the atmosphere. And exhale. Your arm down by your side. vibrational resonating along with some light side stretch release call it I had a teacher once who said it's not a stretch it's a release you know when the muscle stretches versus when the muscle lets go you can even talk to your muscles you can say it's okay the ground is there you can let go 